Hello friends, welcome to Miss India Talk Show. Tonight we are with Miss Tanishtha Chatterjee. She's an actress, graduate of National School of Drama, and among the very few Indian actresses who has been nominated for BAFTA Awards. So let's get to know her a little more. Hello Hi, everyone. Hi. I was nominated for the British Independent Film Awards. I'm just, I just just wanted to make that correction. <laughs> okay, uh, because your intro says that uh, the British Academy. So... Yeah, it is British. Yeah, it is the BIFAS, which is the British Independent Film Awards. All right. Fine. So that's the correction for you guys. Uh, Parisha, the format of the show is that uh, it's to get to know the artist a little more, their journey, their life, their ups and downs, and anything that they want to share which they haven't been able to share on any other platform. So uh, we would like to know that how did you come into this field of acting? Like if we say like from your school days or college days, how did it all start? Because you don't come from a artist family background. background. Yeah, I mean, it was by accident, actually. I was uh, studying chemistry in Delhi University and I happened to attend a workshop in National School of Drama which Mr. Barry John had conducted. And it was in one of my summer vacations. And a lot of uh, teachers from NSD actually uh, sort of uh, were teaching in that particular workshop for two months. And I enjoyed that workshop a lot. And many of, um, many of the professors who teach uh, permanently in NSD actually told me that, uh, Tanishtha, what are you doing in a chemistry lab? Uh, the stage is your world. You're a performer. You should apply for NSD. And at that point of time, I was like, oh, my God, like really chemistry and drama. Uh, I, I, I had actually attended that workshop as a hobby. I used to sing and like most Bengali families, you know, music, dance, art, cinema, culture was a part of our lives, but never really thought that it has to become a profession. But that particular workshop actually changed my life. And I thought that, okay, let me apply and see. And I really didn't have so much experience uh, in doing professional theater or even amateur theater. I'd done like one or two plays, uh, one with Yatrik and, you know, some amateurish plays in the college street theater, like nothing much to really write on my CV. But then in the first, uh, you know, chance for first time that I apply for NSD, I got through and I met so many students there, aspiring students who were who applied for many years and still were struggling to get into the Institute and had so much experience. I was like, oh, my God, like, I'm really lucky. So I should really do this. And, you know, the selection process in NSD is so much fun. That workshop that one uh, gets invited to, uh, you know, during the selection process where all the NSD teachers are also there to sort of review your potential. That was really exciting. And then when I got through, I was like, you know, if four days workshop, that can be so much fun. So, I don't know, three years ago, what roller coaster ride will be. I was really looking forward to it. And it was like a very, very impromptu decision. And obviously, initially, my parents were really sort of like, really, you want to do that, like chemistry and drama, what is the future? Um, <coughs> but then, you know, uh, I was young and we just thought that, okay, fine, like, let's take a chance and see how it goes. And then, of course, National School of Drama, those three years, my, I mean, changed my life completely. Everything that I learned, not only about film and acting and theater and the craft of acting or anything to do with art, but just about life. Because you get to meet people from all parts of india if you look at first year second year third year aapke itne students her region se hai and from all walks of life from all social strata caste creed religion um, uh, social backgrounds financial backgrounds nothing matters everybody is equal 
everybody is a student and learning you know also age differences somebody is 30 years old somebody is 19 years old it's it's such a colorful and fantastic mixture for artists to bloom i mean uh, given a chance i would still become a student and go back to nsd again it was such a beautiful <laughs> time in my life like wow wow like that's what i think artists should always be given as an atmosphere to create and in some ways nsd also spoils us because when we come out we realize that that's such a ideal situation where our teachers our professors our students our co-actors our co-creators everyone is just creating everyone is pushing everyone is giving you that beautiful atmosphere of creativity and then you come to the real world ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll come to the real world, we'll the real world a little later yeah. uh, and uh, we will talk a little more we'll about this more fantasy about world that we enjoy that we enjoy during your playing during your playing Uh, a yeah. little more in detail uh, um in the sense uh, you said there's a workshop which changed and everything you and you got into the nsd uh, but what was that spark that you made you drive towards acting and pursue this career and get into the nsd because uh, what we get to know like uh, we have experiences of mr nasiruddin shah or om puri you know among the male actors where uh, they want to pursue acting and of course the looks matter you know the skin color matters uh, there are a lot of parameters which go for making an actor uh, so when uh, people don't fit into those parameters then obviously they need they will have to uh, face a lot of uh, difficulties and they'll have to strive a little harder as opposed to the others uh, to overcome those uh, you know uh, the shortcomings or the parameters the defined parameters because thanks to people like uh, om puri and nasiruddin shah who have redefined those parameters uh, and which is why it things made uh, easy for actors especially in india um yeah. so what was that i was so young i never thought about any of these things <laughs> i have to be very honest i saw some of these amazing actors which i who i used to watch on you know screen and i always felt that oh my god they are different from the other actors that you see usually on a screen in hindi films and that is a distinction that i could understand and realize because i did grow up a lot on you know satyajit ray films and very good bengali cinema ritwik ghatak minal sen and a lot of very very special european films as well because that's a culture that i had at home and i understood that you know these actors have a very different way of approaching their roles and acting when they are doing things you don't feel they're acting at all which is that whole european style so even before coming to nsd i was aware of that that if i want to become an actor i want to uh, my role models were people like om puri nasiruddin shah pankaj kapoor a lot of like bunch of fantastic you know anita kavar seema biswas all these fabulous actors that i when i saw bandit queen i was like oh my god like how did she even do that so all these seniors even before coming to nsd these were my inspirations these were my role models and i could very clearly see that okay these actors are very different from the regular bollywood actors that you see which is really larger than life and a very different style of acting which is your indian bollywood style of acting and i mean i it's not that i dismiss that that's a, a particular style but i was more enamored towards the realism and the approach of detailing of how they actually approached characters like when i saw nasir sir especially because he's redefined acting modern acting i think for indian cinema at least i mean there are fantastic actors on stage who are like really doing even his contemporaries or but what he did with a par a pestonji or a sparsh or you know uh, chakra like little little things i was like so amazed that this actually is at par with european cinema standards at least you know the acting styles so that is what was really inspiring and then when i did the four day workshop i met all these fantastic professors in nsd who were pushing even the participants to actually achieve that and 
again now the three years was of course like every like we had also foreign uh, professors visiting ad hoc professors coming in lot of physical uh, theater i mean it exposed me to things that i wasn't aware of and life life also i mean i was a very naive protected child coming from an upper middle class family in delhi and then i met people who came from such struggles from different parts of india where i hadn't even traveled to i mean i also experienced my own country my own culture in in a very intimate way with language with regions with people with food with costumes clothes and emotions but you know i never thought about whether i'm good looking or not and how am i going to make it in the outside world these were never the thoughts because i think i don't think those should also be your thoughts especially when you're in an institute and i think nsd gives you this beautiful atmosphere where it treats everybody with such uh, equality and empathy that you as an artist are only given an atmosphere to grow and learn and i think that's what an institute should always be i mean i i actually don't believe that it should have a capitalist training right from the beginning telling you oh, the industry is like this it's a it's a free space to first first to open up to be vulnerable to grow uske baad next step is after that na to maine to ye sab socha hi nahi ki my i have a skin tone problem or a i didn't come from a family where my skin tone was ever an issue it actually hit me when i came to this industry like after nsd <laughs> because it didn't give me any socha tha ki it's an issue because our professors always gave us the strength to play roles it was about acting it's it was about you know the plays the roles to how uh, how am i improving as an actor it was never about how i looked not for any student how does it feel uh because you are uh, among those names which are also referred as analogy like when we refer to male actors uh, for nasiruddin shah and umpuri who paved way opened the doors uh, for unconventional actors for unconventional looks uh, to make in roads on stage and theater or even in films uh, there are a few names uh, which are referred to in films especially the bollywood films which is we start from smita patel then seema biswas and the third name is yours so how does it uh, feel uh, to be in that bracket i didn't know that it feels <laughs> too good <laughs> i think because uh, these are like people who i have grown up uh, like admiring and uh, sort of uh, uh, feeling i mean th- those are my role models so if uh, uh, if i become somebody else's role model and people say that of i have also sort of opened doors for other actors younger actors who are coming out now um, i just feel that yes at least i've been able to do something and having said that i will i'll 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 also emphasis on one thing that you know in spite of the fact that we are differently we're not the cliched uh gori chitti good looking you know people uh, actresses who get cast in bollywood the one thing that national school of drama also teaches you is retain your uniqueness and i have actually always done that i've never used makeup which is uh, whiter than my skin tone i have never done uh, things to my hair if the role doesn't demand that like as tanishta chatterjee like because i have curly hair that i'll start straightening my hair or you know i i start uh, bleaching my hair or i start bleaching my skin or i haven't till date even done my eyebrows in most of the roles so i've retained my natural looks and i think that is the you know for for screen and for uh, cinema especially i think you need to have a uniqueness and that is something that i think again nsd always taught us that as an artist retain your uniqueness retain your vulnerability your innocence and your freshness that every time i approach something i work with a new director i don't know anything i want to learn again but even after working for so many years uh every time i start uh, with a new project i always like to submit and that's actually a part of my training so uh talking of your training uh, what were your 
most favorite or memorable plays that you did at NSD? Well, there were many uh, because, you know, it's like a year wise thing that, you know, in the first year um, you are sort of exposed to new, new ideas, new things. So uh, everything that you're doing in your first year is always very special. And I remember at the end of first year, we were act never supposed to have a production, but we did. We did Brihandala, which actually Baju I directed. And uh, that has always been a very, very special memory for me. It was also a musical. And I played Uttara in it. And uh, I used to sing even before I joined National School of Drama. I am a trained Hindustani classical singer. So uh, a musical in my first year with, uh, I struggled a bit with Hindi at that point of time and Bajjubha helped me so much with all those long monologues and speeches and that has always been, you know, your first sort of thing. I mean, of course, through the through the next two years, we did many more complex plays and a lot of different stuff. But Brihanala will always remain very, very special to me. Uh, in my second year, we did a very interesting production called Cycle Wala with Dadi Padamji. Uh, with puppets and I played a fish there which is it was really kind of crazy and that entire experience was also like really beautiful then we did Antigone with MK Raina we did uh, I did Doll's House with uh, uh, Ma'am Anuradha Kapoor which was a scene work all these things and then we did a long scene work with Anamika Haksar which was really memorable again for me and in third year we started working with Robinda uh, in a Brechtian play, which actually never happened. And then there was another uh, production that we did with a foreign director, with a Polish director, Mario Shorsky, called Marriage. And that was a minimalistic theater without any sets, just the actors, you know. And it was so beautiful. We did Shakespearean plays that year. I mean, it was... Uh, it was a range of different things and one of the uh, other memorable productions i feel was shaleja my actually she was one of the students and her diploma uh, which was media as a woman that character really hit me hard like at such a young age to play that role and we actually played that uh, later in some uh, theater festivals also when i came out of nsd so you have named just a few. Uh, there are many more, which right now it's been many years. So my memory is also, but yeah, it, it was, <laughs> which is which is why which is which is why if I have left a few, please don't think that oh they were not important and they were. But yeah, I mean, I think uh, musicals also always sort of uh, like media was also a musical, and Piyush Mishra did the music for us. It was. He just saw a rehearsal and he came and he said, hey, I will give you music. <laughs> so he, was, he taught us in some music class also. And uh, yeah, it was such great fun. Like I said, I wish even now I can go back to those days. <laughs> yes, we all want to go back to our younger days, especially the school days and the college days and the best, uh, most memorable days of the training. Yeah. Why did you uh, leave uh, your classical uh, singing? Uh, part. I didn't leave, but you know, Bombay sort of like consumed me. Like just the initially when I came here, it was really hard. The struggles and like I said that you know your search for work, your auditions and and your rejections and uh, it was it what was. What were your rejections and... based upon? What were the rejections? Because you're a wonderful actor, so I don't think that anybody would reject you for like, performance. It was just the looks. It was never performance. I'm 100% sure about that. No one would ever say that on your face. But uh, most people, big, big directors told me, you just don't look the part. Um, what does that mean? How can an actor <laughs> not look the part? Like, and they were, you know, when I first came here, how was, there were hardly auditions. It was just photographs, right? You showed photographs and you're rejected on the basis of photographs. There were only international projects which were actually auditioning. And there were four international projects that I auditioned for. I got three of them because there was an audition there. Where was the audition? Send it to me, meet me. 
तो तस्वीर भेज के और मिल के आप क्या शक्ल देख के क्या बोल रहे हो आप लाइक सो इट वॉज इट वॉज रियली यू डोंट लाइक मोस्ट डिरेक्टर्स सेट टू बी दैट नो नो Even art house directors, really good directors, I don't want to name them, whose work I admire, I died to work with them, just looked at me and said, "Ah, oh, it is very good. You must be a very strong actor." I wanted a different face. <laughs> you know, uh, so I'm like too bad. <laughs> I wish uh, your uh, dream comes true, you and you get to work with those your wish list directors uh, sometime in near future. अब तो मैं निकल गई हूँ अब मैं खुद ही फिल्में बना रही हूँ अपने आप को कास्ट कर लूँगी. Yes, we will come on to that. Yes, we will come on to that part a little later. That uh, which is you've turned director, and I'm I'm sure soon you'll be turning your producer as well. Uh, but we will right now uh, stick to the acting part and since you said you went through a lot of struggles in your initial period and you faced a lot of rejections uh, these days i have been doing some interviews with uh, a few actresses and uh, we have always asked this question uh, what were the struggles what were the problems and they faced and which includes the me too uh, element in it also uh, and most of these actresses have confessed that they have faced these kind of issues at some point or the other and uh, they have avoided it in their own ways uh, so did you ever face this uh yes but not directly because i don't know i think i shout and that is something that you know you know me for many years right from a very young age i am a very i shout and no nonsense don't do that so it was never very obvious and overt it was subtle uh, but i i did figure one hurdle was ki you know this is not that you don't look the part the second was obviously that you know many many roles were also not offered to me because they knew that i'm not going to uh, be compromising or doing anything no hanky panky will be possible with me so uh, so that's a, but but did people actually ask me directly no because i don't think i i did give out that vibe uh, from a very young age that look uh, i it's not for me um but yes i mean i i understood because i saw the kind of people who are getting cast in that and you know what was going on there and so obviously it was there all around completely what would you like to was, say to yeah what would you like to say to the young actresses uh, who are trying to make their mark and trying to get work and struggling uh, and meeting these uh, probable uh, casting directors or the producers or the directors uh, and the kind of problems that they face so what would you advise them how should they carry themselves and what are the things that they should keep in mind and how should they approach their work i think you have to know your craft you have to just work on your craft and your time will come i mean that's the advice that everyone always gave me when i came here from the sir sir to you know everybody to shabana ji to that of course you have to seek work and and the struggle never ends this i mean creative uh, fields are a struggle throughout it's just that the levels of struggle become different but you are constantly struggling you are constantly struggling with also keeping yourself up to date your the trends you know your creative expression learning new things exposing yourself again and again and again it's never there are newer and newer and talented people who will come and completely wash you out and replace you it never ends right so a i feel i need i don't know whether i'm in a position to actually advise uh, but it's from i can share my experience that i think you have to work on your craft and you have to keep 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 working on it um till till the end of life like you know i was very lucky to work with zora appa in one of my first few plays and uh, she played uh, my grandma in that like grandmother in law actually and it was so beautiful to actually see her so closely at the age of 90 you know i was in my early 20s and she was 90 years old and her diligence even at that point of time her commitment in that you know at that stage in her life and then you know after the show of the play she stands on 
uh, the stage and just recites abhi to main jawan hu that entire poem i was like my god i want to be an artist like that you know at 90 you are able to do what you love doing and you still so enjoy that there is uh, whatever success she's had she's happy with that uh because she her, the success in her life is to be able to do what you love doing for the rest of your life you know it's not about which vanity value you have or <laughs> whether this has happened or not or comparison to others so my uh, experience is that if you really love what you do if you love the creative field just keep doing and there would be a day where people would probably recognize you i mean geeta aap apna karm karo phal milega <laughs> Absolutely. One one needs to keep working and just go on and pursue things. Things will and fall into place. Enjoy yes. the process. Enjoy yes, the yes, process. Don't think about yeah. the journey is important. I mean, you don't know because आप कितने भी successful हो जाओ आपको अगर Oscar भी मिल गया ना तो वो तो एक moment होता है. बाकी तो आपकी journey है ना वो तो एक घंटे में तो पांच minute का वो session होता है जहाँ आपको Oscar मिला और खत्म हो गई बात. But journey exactly. Yes. 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 And as it said that uh, when you're climbing up, it's tough, and to remain at the top is even tougher. Absolutely. I I think I don't know. I don't compete with remaining at the top or bottom with anybody else. It is my own yardsticks of what, uh, what next in terms of creativity, in terms of a person, personal growth as an artist. as a human being it's really all about that and there are those different stages and you enjoy every stage how do you approach your character the what you play in films or the play uh, what is your approach is it uh, something which is uh, most of the actors do or there is something else to it you want to uh, know your secret i i know <laughs> the secret i mean i, I think acting is a very personal art form you know unlike music and dance and more codified art forms where you can rehearse uh, hours and hours of sargam and movement in dance because i am also a trained musician so i know the difference between that training and this training acting is something that is a very personal art form and i feel that the training is living life every day every moment you are rehearsing every moment that you put yourself in a vulnerable situation and you explore your life and other people's lives as human beings uh you become a better actor you know so it is not about approaching a particular role that's a very external thing ki chalo maine language kar liya uski body language kya hai uh let me work on my accent let me work on uh you know meet people do my research these are external things but jo hum kehte na the inner of a character the inner of a character i that's my approach it always comes from something that you trigger within and the more experienced and varied life experiences that you have that you will be actually able to trigger some truth within you that will ring true with that character and then you just have to keep expanding it and creatively expand that within you that's my approach and my process like i hate rehearsing स्पेशली फॉर सिनेमा थिएटर इज डिफरेंट थिएटर में आप जितना रिहर्स करोगे आपको उतना मिलेगा बट फॉर सिनेमा आई डोंट लाइक रिहर्सिंग आई लव रिहर्सिंग थिंग्स विच आर नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द सीन दैट वुड बी एक्चुअली फिल्म I love rehearsing things before, after, what happened to this character when she was a child, and actually emotionally rehearsing those things so that we are so we've lived that. कैरेक्टर सो मच कि अब जाके जब हमने पार्ट किया फॉर एग्जांपल हमने सीन्स एक्चुअली रिहर्स कभी किए ही नहीं वी वेंट फॉर अ डांस ट्रेनिंग विद एशले ऑल थ्री ऑफ अस राधिका सुरवीन एंड आई एंड लीरा टोल्ड अस दैट यू नो जस्ट ओपन अप योर बॉडी फाइंड योर सेक्सुअलिटी फाइंड योर सेक्स अपील यू नो दो काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स विच एक्चुअली हैव नथिंग टू डू विद सीन्स इन दैट फिल्म we never rehearsed particular scenes lines kiye the sir acha chalo 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 lines kar lete because of the language but 
इट वॉज जस्ट गोइंग देर उस उस मिट्टी में रहना और कुछ और ही करना सिर्फ दौड़ना लाइक वेन आई डिड एक इंडियन सर्कस फॉर विच आई वॉन्ट द नेशनल अवार्ड मंगेश यूज टू मेक मी रन विद ऑल द कॉस्ट्यूम फाइव इन द मॉर्निंग फॉर फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स एवरी डे डेजर्ट में कोई रिहर्सल्स नहीं मैं रिहर्सल करना मतलब मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगता रिहर्सल करना एंड देन यू फाइंड बट वन थिंग दैट आई आई थिंक आई वेरी डिलीजेंटली फॉलोड इज वेन आई इन अ सीन आई डोंट केयर वॉट आई एम सपोज टू से आई जस्ट लिसन टू माई गो एक्टर and that is something that every teacher in nsd has taught me that just respond and listen apna apne lines ke bare mein mat socho bahut basic hai lekin maine ye dekha hai ki bahut senior actors bhi ye nahi karte they still are waiting for their cue to main wo karti nahi hu main mera thoda bahut isliye kabhi kabhi lines change hota hai because wo co actor jo deta hai mujhe bhi usse leke hi karti hu तो बट इट हैज टेकन मी टाइम टू रीच देयर आई वुड से कि द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स आई बीन एबल टू जस्ट प्ले आई मीन आई नो दैट वेन वी वर इन स्कूल मेनी ऑफ आर प्रोफेसर यू नो नसीर सर एंड ऑल्सो सेट कि वो जो खेलना है वो आप जितना जिंदगी जियोगे जितना लाइक प्रैक्टिस करोगे एक्टिंग करोगे आप धीरे धीरे इट्स लाइक वेन यू वेन यू नो योर सरगम सो वेल उसके बाद ताने जो है आपके ऑटोमेटिकली आना शुरू हो जाता है आप खेलना शुरू करते हो उसके बाद आप ताल के साथ खेलते हो उससे पहले आप फिर भी रेजिमेंटेड सीख रहे हो तो एक्टिंग इज एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट आई मीन देर आर नो सेट रूल्स एवरीबडी अप्रोच इज इट डिफरेंटली यू आर ट्रेन एक्टर स्पेशली फ्रॉम थिएटर बैकग्राउंड एंड यू हैव एक्सेल्ड इन सिनेमा व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू सेट्स ऑफ आर्ट फॉर्म्स एंड एज फॉर द एक्टिंग गोस I think the exploration of the truth is exactly the same when I used to do theater and in NSD days when we used to explore truth wo jo truth ko explore karna hota hai rehearsal ke dauran it was exactly the same it's very intimate it's very personal and we found it when you found find it as an actor you know ki ye hai ye fake note nahi hai then after that the performance of that truth is what varies the camera for the camera your performance has to be very intimate because your camera is here and especially when you're doing close ups and all it might not be intimate when there is a very long shot in fact at that point of time your inner might be zero but what you explored in the uh, rehearsals which is an action which actually your body language which is showing in that wide frame is what actually counts or it is just the image that the director wants it has nothing to do with the actor sometimes aap kuch bhi kar rahe ho wahan pe lekin wo kuch dikhai nahi de rahi hai but when it's uh, i mean stage is more of an actor's medium and uh, we we always say that that you know cinema is more of a director's medium having said all that i think actor is extremely important in cinema because especially in films which are character driven uh but you i i think the 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 vulnerability the exploration of the truth is the same on stage you just reach out to an audience to express that truth that you've explored during rehearsals and i think it you know a truthful performance and a fake performance even on stage can be noticed it might be louder but there is still truth in that melodrama there is truth in that loudness and every time you know the audience changes the actors finds that truth the actors find that truth wo like it's not melodrama or loud does not mean it's fake ye ye ek bahut uh, i think it's an interesting thing which sometimes i feel many people mistake that subtle means uh मतलब कुछ भी ना करना एंड मेलो ड्रामा मीन्स मेलो ड्रामा मीन्स वो लाउड और फेक है ऐसा नहीं होता मेलो ड्रामा कैन बी एक्सट्रीमली ट्रूथफुल एंड सटल कैन बी कम्प्लीटली जीरो नथिंग इन अर बिल्कुल कुछ हो ही नहीं रहा है वो भी हो सकता है और वो बहुत बार होता है ये यहाँ पे मैंने ये बहुत बार देखा है कि सटल्टी के नाम पे आप कुछ भी नहीं करते हो कुछ होता ही नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है and 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 like ritvik ghatak is actually the biggest example in the meghada ka tara and those performances are very loud and reaching out but they are so truthful 
वो 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 उनकी सचमुच की जिंदगी है आई मीन इट मेक्स मी क्राई एवरी टाइम लाइक सत्यजीत रे हुआ सच अ सटल डायरेक्टर बट दैट वन मोमेंट इन पाथर पाचाली वेर दुर्गा डाइज एंड हिज फादर ब्रिंग्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स for the mother and she opens the sari and she starts crying and ravi shankar sitar plays the entire moment is very melodramatic but it is so truthful every time i see it i cry you know that sense of loss the poetry in it like wow so it's that's also another uh, miss uh, presentation i feel ki subtle matlab everything subtle is really good like subtle can also be very fake and like there's nothing no inner in subtlety that's that's also possible and melodrama can also have a lot of true emotions how was your experience of working on uh, brick lane i think uh, that is a film for which you were nominated for the the bifa awards how what do you call that B- bifa the, the british international film awards yes yes yes, yes. uh so how did that film come your way and uh, what was your experience and how did it change your life i mean bricklane was of course uh, the turning point and it came my way through auditions uh and uh, sara gavron like she's a fantastic director she's actually recently made a film called rocks which is the biggest talked about film now in england uh her third film brickley was her first film but she had made a short called this little life which had won a bafta and she was you know in the making of a very very special director so i had a privilege to work with her in in, in the title role and such a beautiful book uh uh so yeah it was so i had done another uh, german film called shadows of time before brickley and uh, florian again was a very very special director from whom i learned certain basics of cinema acting so all those tips that he gave me really helped uh, me work in bricklane bricklane was yeah i mean it will always remain very special at a very young age i got such a fantastic female centric role a uh, beautiful character graph i mean the novel is so dense and layered the film was also that uh, when i went to shoot for the film again you know i didn't have any expectations i was just enjoying working on the film at that point of time and then of course sony picture classics released the film in the united states and it did very very well in france and the us it even at the box office and uh, then uh getting nominated with dame judy dench and ad hathaway all these huge stars at the british independent film awards yeah it was it was quite overwhelming and it was beautiful uh and i actually moved to england for 5 years during that phase in my life i did some really nice theater i did a very big show at the royal opera house which was a musical uh i did anna karenina with joe wright uh, it was it was a very beautiful time after a uh, bricklane uh, which is the film that you would treasure the most um you know i wouldn't say you know after bricklane or anything like bricklane was special because it was very early on in my career and it was uh, a, f- a female protagonist and a lot of films in india at that point of time were male protagonists and the woman is the girlfriend or the wife in the <laughs> male protagonist's life so this was different but then very very soon after bricklane i got dekh indian circus which was again female protagonist i started getting those roles like one by one by one you know i did a bunch of films with anand mahadevan also uh, rough book dr rakma bai then parched happened angry indian goddesses which had fantastic like a bunch of interesting women yeah parched it was a very special film because leena and i we developed it together uh and uh, uh all my like dr rakma bai was a very 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 special film then i did a film called an indian which is a romantic comedy but uh it had again a, a very strong independent female character so uh you know post bricklane i was lucky i did a film called bombay summer which was again 
a woman protagonist. I won a lot of Best Actress awards for that film. Again, a very small but a very special film. Um, so, yeah, I was. I think I was really lucky to get many films. Now, if I look at it, which had female protagonists and very diverse characters, from playing a, a Dr. Rahma Bai, which is a period piece, you know, to an Indian. um which is a woman who lives in australia to parched you know woman living in a village to angry indian goddesses who's a, a, a lesbian you know a, a gay character uh, and a and a, a, a social worker so it was it's like diverse roles in very very interesting films you uh, done a couple of films with uh, anant mahadevan uh it is generally said that you know uh, when the actor director team is like a relationship between an actor and a cameraman you know uh, they understand each other and they try to do more and more films as together which is where they become a success and which is where the actors also play a major role and when the director starts repeating their actors there's a special bonding uh, sort of a thing which develops between the actor and the director as far as the project goes because then it becomes easy for the director to uh, give a character to that particular act actor and has that faith in that actor uh, how did this relationship with anant uh, develop because uh, how did he uh, find you as an actor or how did do you find him as a director that you agreed and you did uh, multiple films with him uh um, i mean uh, he initially approached me with uh, gaur hari dastan and it was a very small role but you know i really liked the script and the story and there was a bunch of very interesting actors that i wanted to work with uh there was vinay pathak konkona and uh, ranveer shore so uh, i and anand ji as well because i had seen me sindhu tai saptal uh, in australia i was in the jury of a festival where you know that film was also screening so i wanted to work with him Uh, after watching that film so when he offered me gaur hari dastan i said okay yes like let's let's do this and i i really like the story and that's where our working relationship started and then he made rough book and there's a interesting story uh, with rough book which actually rough book we got to your festival and i won an award in lif as well so uh, that is that was a different kind of festival uh, for me it's you did you okay yeah right. <laughs> okay <laughs> yes so, so uh rob book is an interesting story and initially anand ji uh, called me and he said that listen i'm making a film about the indian education system and i want you to play a principal in the school you know and the main protagonist is this physics teacher whose journey is like i'm like who's playing the physics teacher he said i don't know i have to cast him i said why is it that you know because he teaches physics it has to be a he why can't it be a she so he looked at me he said okay i'll think about it <laughs> and i left, i left it there and i went to uh us there was a canadian film i had done called siddharth by richie mehta who made uh, delhi crime it was his second film so it was screening there and it was releasing in the us so i had gone to the us and my sister lives there so i stayed back for 15 20 days after the release of the film and i suddenly get an email from him saying that okay it's done uh, the physics teacher is now a woman when are you coming back i'm like really yeah he's like yeah now i need your dates because and now i need 25 days from you because you're playing that so i was a like, wonderful <laughs> so that's how it all started then during the making of rub book he talked about dr rakma bai to me and uh, he said but you know tanish said in marathi because i'm getting a producer because she was maharashtrian i'm only getting a producer who wants to produce it in marathi so i said i'll learn marathi so he was like let me first see how that would work out and i said that listen if you're not happy with my marathi you can get it dubbed by someone else but you know the first right of refusal should be mine like uh, i will also say if, if i'm not so then i learned and uh, i worked on my marathi for 3 months uh, we made the film when the first screening happened i also won the best actress in pune international film festival 
and uh, many people in pune thought that i'm bengali but i uh, i must be of mixed parentage because i was born in pune so i must have lived here and i know Mar- marathi so at some screenings when people started talking to me in marathi and i was like completely clueless because i had only learned those lines they really said to me that oh my god really we never thought and and also my producers they said that you know you could absolutely pass off like you know they they didn't dub it they kept my original voice which was kind of really nice and dr rakhmawa is also very very special film it's such a beautiful role and a beautiful journey and anand ji is such a he's such a gentle soul i really hope to do many more films with him I absolutely agree with you because I had a chance of uh, working with him uh, during his initial years when uh, he was still making as a director. This is in the television, you know, in, in the mid '90s. Like he was also discovering in a transition phase from being an actor to the director, and that's when he was directing television series. And I happened to act for one of his series in in the major roles uh, in the '95 or '96. I'm sure he would remember that. And that was for some channel which uh, NEPC or something like that. Uh, I was there. Amit Bhel was there, and Anup Soni was there, and we were all three young brothers. So I had a chance of working with him, and I discovered that uh, this guy has something special in him. Because, and there's another anecdote which I would like to share with you is that when I came to Bombay, uh, although coming from a theatre background and, and an artist family and everything, and I was on my own in Bombay. I'm talking about the eight nineties, like nineteen ninety one. Uh, period where I did a play and I did a very small appearance in a play called Hai Aka Prem Ka, and that character did not even exist in the play. Jairup Jeevan was directing, and Anand Mahadevan was the main actor in that play. And uh, and I was struggling, and I said, no, I need to work. I need to do something because at that time, you know, that there was only Doordarshan and films. There was nothing else. And uh, being a 20-year-old guy uh, right in the center of Bombay was very difficult to make a mark. And uh, so he sat, I think, with Jeroop. He discussed with Anand, and they devised a new character of a narrator, like a sutradhar and kind of thing. And we improvised everything within two, three days. And that's how they allowed me to uh, step on the stage. So that was my first play on uh, in Mumbai. Uh, then it was called Bombay. So that's my uh, experience working with Anand Mahadevan. And I really adore this guy as a director and an actor. He's a superb guy uh, to work with. And above all, a person. Such a gentle soul, like you know, yes. so genuine. Uh, Absolutely, so, yeah, I would love to keep working with him. <laughs> yeah, so you are uh, very fortunate to have worked in uh, uh, the times where he is in his prime as director. He established himself as a director to reckon with. He's a name now, and. Uh, uh, so uh, moving from here uh, there is a transition in which uh, which happened within you uh, like from acting to direction how did that happen this was by accident again like acting was by accident direction <laughs> was even bigger accident There's too many accidents in your life <laughs> yes um yeah it was just uh, my whole like my association with nawaz and you know many years of friend actually led to this uh, we were shooting a film uh, called uh, lion in kolkata and we were just generally discuss- discussing you know when two actors get together we <laughs> bitch a lot jab baat ye sab cheeze hoti hai kisi ko samajh mein nahi aata ye hota hai you know you know all those kind of things and that sort of led to let's do something टूगेदर हम लोग कुछ ऐसा करते हैं मतलब जिसमें मजा आए यू नो द वे वी लुक एट थिंग्स एंड द वे वी वुड लाइक टू अप्रोच एक्टिंग आई रिमेंबर लाइक इवन नाउ नवाज एन आई वेन एवर वी मीट वी हैव दिस डिस्कशन की वो जो दिन थे एन एस डी के जहां हम बैठ के सिर्फ क्रिएटिव चीजों के बारे में बात करते थे एक प्ले पढ़ा उस कैरेक्टर के बारे में बात हो रही है ये सब होता ही नहीं है यार यहाँ पता नहीं वॉट काइंड ऑफ एटमोसफियर वी लिव इन यू नो वेन आई लिव इन लंडन फॉर फाइव ईयर्स इट वॉज इन लाइक दिस Artists are not talking about box office hits and konsa. But look, yeah, it is really strange. Actors talk about stock market and box office. Or what? What will go? What will not go? They don't talk about a play they read, a book they read, a character that has inspired them, a piece of music that they love. But what is it? So this was the kind of thing 
दैट वी वर सॉर्ट ऑफ डिस्कसिंग कि रिहर्सल के दौरान तेरा क्या अप्रोच है मैं क्या मतलब ये क्या फाइंड किया यू नो ऑल दो सीज कुछ भी नहीं है तो कुछ ऐसा करते हैं इस प्रोसेस के साथ इट वॉज मेनली यू नो अबाउट द प्रोसेस दैट वी वॉन्टेड टू सॉर्ट ऑफ शेयर सो देन आई डायरेक्टेड द स्टोरी टू हिम एंड ही रियली सेट कि अरे यार ये बहुत कमाल है ये इसको करते हैं एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई थॉट दैट आई एम गोन राइट इट एंड देन वील गेट सम वन टू डायरेक्ट इट एंड नवाज और मैं हम लोग एक्टिंग करेंगे उसमें you know the way we did parched ki you know it was an idea i had and you know lena and i we sat and then she started writing and wo bani aise you know like that uske baad jaise like like us when i started writing he was the one who said to me yaar ye itna weird hai aur itna special hai na matlab ye koi samajh nahi payega uh, no one's going to be able to do it it is so you to it direct kar isko and i was like hey but i've never done anything like can i डायरेक्ट सो ही वॉज लाइक हाँ हाँ कर लेगी तू तू कर सो एक्चुअली ही वॉज द वन हु केप्ट एंड इन फैक्ट फॉर टू ईयर्स एवरी टाइम आई मेट हिम ही केप पुशिंग मी एंड ही केप से तू ना एंड आई वॉज वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग इज आई वॉज गेटिंग अदर एक्टिंग ऑफर सो एवरी टाइम आई वॉज सिट एंड राइट फिर मैं गायब हो जाऊंगी एंड ही वॉज गेटिंग फ्रस्ट्रेटेड लाइक तू लिख नहीं रही है एक के बाद एक एक्टिंग किया जा रही है so I'm I'm like but I'm an actor I want to act ठीक है करते हैं ना एंड देन समेर यू नो वी फाउंड दिस टाइम एंड एवरीथिंग जस्ट फेर इन प्लेस थिंग्स गॉट प्री पोर्न एंड आई शॉट माई फर्स्ट फिल्म इन रोम विद अ ब्यूटिफुल इटालियन कास्ट एंड नवाज एंड आई एक्चुअली एज फार एज द फिल्म इज कंसर्न द क्रिएटिव प्रोसेस ऑफ द फिल्म इज कंसर्न आई डिड इट एग्जैक्टली द वे आई हैड इमेजिन दैट आई वॉन्ट टू make a film i rehearsed with my actors for four days in rome in a beautiful park exploring you know things in between the characters uh, nawaz also said ki yaar kitne saal ho gaye hum log hum logon ne aisa kaam nahi kiya set pe aate hain aur karte hain kaam ye kuch alag tha uh, with my uh, dop my music director my sound uh, designer with everyone it was it was really beautiful and in in a city that i wanted to pay homage to not only because of the kind of cinema that i've grown up watching you know rome is such a special city but also because uh women and the fact that the italian renaissance started from florence and 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 from uh, from italy you know the european the, the renaissance and the genesis of modern feminism actually comes from there where all these fantastic women artists contributed like so much to uh, to uh, you know who we are today as female artists who can express ourselves the fact that bridjo i'm sitting in front of you and talking about a film that i've made wouldn't have been possible if that genesis was not there that revolution you know the sparks of how these fabulous female artists many 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 of them uh who went uncelebrated you know uh they actually paved the path for all of us so it was my homage to art artists uh women and that eternal city rome um uh, and i have to say that you know i am thankful to my producers that they were able to give me that platform in my first film how was uh, working with nawaz because nawaz has now become iconic uh, of course he has grown over the years and you two have known each other from the nst days and he is your colleague and probably he is a senior from nst uh, so how was working with him uh, in films I mean, I've uh, we've and worked. And especially also directing him. Yeah, as co-actors, we've worked in many films uh, in Dekh Indian Circus, Monsoon Shootout, like you know, um, Lion, uh, just to name a few. But, but yeah, directing him was very easy because he's a fantastic actor, yes. and uh, he is made for the cinema. He has a he has a beautiful face. His eyes are so striking. His inner is so there. and he submits he submits to the director to the story to that character to that world 
so it's very easy to work with him it is beautiful and uh, i think that's again another association that i hope would go if i am able to make more films at some point uh, it would definitely uh, be a longer association than just one film uh how soon can we see room room uh, release because of course the theatrical releases these days are very uh, few and uh, very rare uh, is it also being planned for a ott release i think it will be an ott release only in the atmosphere that we are i mean it's very unsure we don't know what how the vaccines going to really play out it's too initial stage so uh, so i think it will come soon in the next month or two uh, it should be out in any of the otts yeah i'm How's also it? waiting eagerly <laughs> <laughs> we all are waiting eagerly um, yeah for people to watch uh, the film because you know whatever it is some people will like it some people will not like it but it is something that is very it's me it's it's i made it with utmost honesty of course because you put everything that you have in your work and i'm sure it's going to be very good and since namaz is in the film and uh, it's been uh, produced uh, or taken by eros if i'm not mistaken produced it is produced by rising star entertainment and eros yeah eros yeah, right um how is it uh, how is uh, working for television i mean you've done some web series and especially for amazon which has been very popular and uh, which is Uh, got a lot of uh, viewership and accolades to you and the entire team i'm re- and i guess you are also working in the second season now uh, you know the the web series that i'm referring to here uh, uh unpaused you're talking about unpaused no right i'm talking i'm talking about uh, four shots four more shots no i actually i am not able to talk about four more shots cut that out <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. I directed, yeah, I directed a film uh, called Unpaused. Uh, one of the stories. It's like it's a five stories for Amazon, um, which we actually shot during the lockdown and with all the lockdown rules, not more than five people on set, not more than two actors, and uh, you know, lockdown stories, uh, restrictive budgets, and 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 restrictive. So going back to basics. uh and and with some really good directors raj and dk nikhil advani nitya mehra vinash arun whose work as directors i really admire so they were the other directors who made the other four short films um so that's come out uh, recently and uh, it was it was a very beautiful experience where we were locked <laughs> into you know this whole thing for 6 7 months and after that this was the first thing that we came out and did and uh, it was it was nice it was both unnerving and exciting uh, and the response has been also really positive on post has been a part of most lists of 2020 where you know the best shows of 2020 best films of 2020 uh, so it's been it's nice to see that great uh, what do you think of marriage Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I took you by surprise. <laughs> oh, you know, no one has ever asked me that question. <laughs> well, I think it can be beautiful if you find the right person. Uh and if you don't, then you're better off on your own. Uh being on your own is better than a bad marriage for sure. that's what i think i think that's what i i especially ask this because uh, you have taken a very uh, uh, courageous step a very uh, humanitarian step and a very different and out of the box kind of a step because you have adopted a girl child for yourself uh, yeah. and you parenting uh, a girl child uh, which is a uh, very unconventional and uh, not routine how did this idea come to you nothing is routine in my life <laughs> so <laughs> um this is this didn't happen by accident <laughs> okay <laughs> this was something that i was very clear about from a very young age i knew you know in the past when i have had boyfriends and all also every time we've talked about 
uh, married, child, or settling down, any of those things, I've been very clear I want to adopt. Uh, since my teens, actually. And why was why... that? Were you impressed, uh, or there's a role model that you have uh, which uh, inspired you to do this? No, no, I just felt, I really felt from a very young age that this world does not need more people. We are the banality of this world, the human species. <laughs> so uh, I didn't want to contribute to, <laughs> you know, the population that just does not. So I just felt that I would, but yet I would, I believe in motherhood. I believe in nurturing and those things can be shared and given to someone who is special, who will find me and who I will find who already exists. And I don't believe it has anything to do with biological. Uh, I have never believed I feel nurturing can be. Uh, it is it's about I mean, I can be a mother to any any child. A child is a child, like you know. Uh, so I I never believed in that. So um, yeah, I mean, I I was very clear, and this was something that I wanted to do for quite some time, and then finally, I did it because I felt that it should not be one of those things that for uh, the rest of my life I would say that oh, I just wanted to do, I wanted to do, it, but never ended up doing it. So. Uh, in fact, when I was making Rome Rome Bay, uh, is when I had applied. And then as soon as I finished making, she just popped in. <laughs> and I had two children at the same time. Oh, my film, which I was editing, and this one. <laughs> so it has been really beautiful. But this is something that, yes, I decided. And I just felt at this point that there is there would never be a right time unless I just plunge and do it, uh, it would never be, it, it would never be done. And I didn't want to regret many years later feeling that, Are, this is something that I always wanted to do and I never ended up doing it. And my parents have been extremely supportive and wonderful, I have to admit. My mom and dad, uh, I mean, they were, they had questions. Uh, the right and pertinent questions because they have been parents <laughs> and they know how it is and they told me very clearly it is a lifelong process it never stops if you think you know when she's 25 she's going to be independent and go it doesn't happen like that she'll always be your child <laughs> you know? if she's 60 years old and if you're 90 she'll still be your child right <laughs> That's how it is. I'm like, yes, I can tell. Um, so yeah, it's been, uh, it's, 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 it's tough and it's beautiful at the same time. It's interesting to talk to you, Tanishtha, and there's some interesting life stories and experiences that you have. And as a person, uh, very unconventional, um, uh, work-wise and the lifestyle and the way you're leading your life is very unconventional and we wish you all the best and success and want you to remain like this what you are all your life thank you so much thank you so lovely talking to you Riju uh, it's always a pleasure thank you thank you for sharing your time for Lift India thanks thank you Tanishta So friends, that was Tanishtha Chatterjee, an iconic actress from India. We would like you to press like and subscribe buttons and also the bell button so that you know about our latest videos. It will help us improve and get more subscribers and will encourage us to continue with our endeavor to present more videos like this to you. Thank you for being with us and thank you for listening to Tanishtha. Thank you.